Hey everyone, this time on Tim Talks Audio, we take a user request from Reddit and turn it into a video. User BigStar976 asked the question, how to change the pitch of a voice? He's a podcaster, so he's not using Studio One for music production, more so for podcasts and maybe audiobooks. So this will work for anybody who's doing that type of work. Let's dive into the DAW and take a look at how to change the sound of a voice. So one of my regular clients actually is a podcast. I mix and edit the show for her, and then she puts it out. So I actually opened up one of the episodes so that I can show you exactly what to do. These two blue tracks right here are the microphones that picked up the host, the one we're going to affect today, and the guest, the other one, and we're not gonna mess with her. So Big Star wanted to know how to adjust the pitch of the voice. So there's a few ways to do it, and there's two ways to change the amount that you're doing it. What we're gonna do is on this little event right here, I'm gonna right click on it and it gives me lots of different options. But what we're gonna look at is transpose here and tune here. First, let's talk about transpose. Transpose is a very coarse way to change the pitch of an event and it doesn't necessarily have to be just a vocal. It can be a sound effect or a music bed or anything like that. So transpose is a very harsh and coarse sound of pitch change. Let's take a listen to the host without any change and hear how she sounds. Why don't you give us your backstory yeah. and then a little bit of information on what you're currently doing because you're a woman of many traits, it I seems. Jack of all so there she is. That's her normal speaking voice. And as you can see, I've done some work on this episode because I already did this one. But let's change the pitch of her voice. Let's go to transpose and you can click and drag up and down inside transpose. And you can see that it goes from negative 24 to positive 24. This works on the musical scale where there's 12 steps in every octave. So minus 24 is actually two octaves lower. Let's have some fun and listen to that. So here's a cool thing about it too. It transposes it and it changes the pitch of it without changing the time of it. So if I needed to keep this voice in this amount of time for a specific podcast or maybe a TV spot, I can change the pitch of the vocal without changing the length of it as well. Same thing goes if I go two octaves higher. This might be a little harsh. So let's do something a little more tame. Let's just transpose this up mm, two steps. Now let's take a listen. Why don't you give us your backstory and then a little bit of information on what you're currently doing? Because So you can hear it does sound a little robotic. And that will happen because you're altering the pitch of this event. If you ever wanted to, very quickly, you could command or control click for those on PCs. So command and click right now, we'll put this from two right back to zero, putting us back to the state that we were in. Now let's talk about tune very quickly. Tune is a more fine way of pitch adjustment on any event. This actually works in cents and there's 100 cents to each semitone or each step of transpose. So if I put this to plus 100 here, why don't you give us your back? It pitches it up. I'll put this back to zero and I'll put transpose up to one and let's listen to that. Why don't you give us your back? It's exactly the same because there's 100 cents in every step of transpose change. These are some very fast little tips on being able to change the pitch of any event, whether it be for podcasts, TV, some audiobooks, or even music parts in any event inside Studio One. That's all for now. If you found this video informative, please like and share the video. For more, visit timflansbaum.com. And if you have a question, Ask it in the comments and I'll answer it in a future video. Thanks for watching.